Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about photo recognition on NAS. Both Synology and QNAP have made promises that their respective NAS platforms feature facial recognition as well as other kinds of recognition too. And for when you're uploading loads of files to a single location, it can be incredibly useful, particularly when archiving and being able to retrieve photos of people to know that your NAS has catalogued people's faces and recognizing people in them. So what happens is, thanks to smart learning, Synology and QNAP NASes have the ability to, once you upload loads of files or photos that are already in your NAS, to cycle through them and recognize people and in some cases subjects. And what I'm gonna do is compare how both Synology and QNAP have gone about this. So I've already uploaded the same 630 photos to a Synology NAS on the right hand side of the screen and that is a DS218 Plus. And right now it's uploaded the photos and in the background it is slowly but surely going through them to work out themes and people. At the same time, on the right hand side, the QNAP is also having the same files, the same 630 files uploaded to it. Now, both of them seem to go about it in a slightly different way. The Synology scans them as they are uploaded, um, whereas the QNAP appears to do it one by one, which is a slightly different method, but again, doesn't make a grand difference there in the, in the meantime. So right now, while I'm uploading these files, we can go into the photo section here, and it's already started finding people on the QNAP there. And again, different people, and it's lowered the resolution so it can load them up a lot quicker. And again, these are photos that I've taken from my own Facebook here, so I'm sorry if you're one of my friends that is now featured on there. So at the moment, the Synology has still yet to recognize any of the people in these photos. And again, this to both of these NASs, the DS218 Plus and the uh, QNAP TS251B use exactly the same CPU and exactly the same amount of memory. That is the dual core J3355 Intel Celeron chip and two gig of DDR3L memory. So again, the Synology may take a fraction longer to archive these, but as you can see, all the photos have been uploaded. Lots of pictures of me and some weird people and my cats, who you've seen on the channel before. Gotta love the kittens, that was the day we got them. Um, and the albums themselves are still being cycled. So again, we will hopefully get more information about those tags and those people very shortly. Whereas the QNAP has already started saying that it's recognized this person in multiple pictures. So at the moment, the advantage seems to be going to the QNAP for recognizing faces immediately. In some cases, it's even recognized people from this picture, who I know for a fact, this picture has about 15 people in it from a large distance, hence the pixelation. And yes, for those wondering, that is Jenny Agata, who a friend of mine bumped into at a train station, but that's besides the point. So if we go back into the people section here, we still have yet to see those photos be scanned and again there's everything from tags we're still waiting for those to be added as well and of course you can also look at these in a smarter fashion in a number of ways the display of the Synology is certainly more eye-catching it's much more um, the images are much bigger and more and just straight away right up there in your grill but for now it does seem to be taking that bit longer to get those tags up and running and I will be keeping track of how long it takes for it to do this but those files have been uploaded to the NAS, and if we make our way back into the primary DSM backend, we can see that all those 630 files are indeed on this Synology NAS. So we go into there, I believe they are in photo, or are they in home, and then drive, moments, web, let's have a look. I think it's archived those quite well. And again, nice and straightforward, it's found all the files and photos, they're all in there because it's the find of them there on that main list. It's just a little bit of a shame that we have still yet to be able to access the facial recognition on those. Now in the meantime, the QNAP, moving forward, we can see that it still hasn't finished uploading all of the files, but it is indexing them as they upload, which is quite neat. I'll be honest, I'm quite a fan of that. We've still got, we're not... It's uploaded them slower, sure thing, but it has already started recognizing those photos immediately. 
Now, the extent to which you can recognize, um, wow, I have a lot of white threads, don't I? That is definitely a crashing indictment of me. Um, but the fact that the, the, the pictures have been recognized quicker on the QNAP may be, you know, quite appealing to you. Now, the QNAP does have a very similar sort of stylized wall of photos as you saw on the Synology there. But the gallery on here can be uh, like configured in a number of ways to only feed from a certain album. And of course, you can change the parameters of the, uh, the back as well. And again, streaming pictures is a great deal easier um, on the QNAP, I think, than the Synology. The Synology does things the other way around. It makes things network accessible. And of course, there is their own photo station application. Wrong one there. So if we go into there, we go into Photo Station. I must have downloaded it. Yes, I have. And the Photo Station application works in a slightly different way. It does recommend straight away that you should be going for moments, but you have to manually search for that album that we've created. So you either have to create a brand new album or sort out the album that we've already used earlier. But again, it's... You shouldn't be using both applications. The Moments app is kind of the spiritual successor to Photo Station. So there's no reason why you should really be using that. Um, and what we'll do is we're going to fast forward the video to when the Synology has started the facial recognition. Because what we want to look at is one, do both of these NASs recognize the same numbers of people? Or Will, it, will they have different parameters and limitations on how they scan? What I would go as far as to say straight away is the Synology appears to have automatically identified some of the back-end information on those photos immediately. So a number of these photos, it's taken from the metadata in the, from the original picture and worked out exactly where these pictures were taken. Um, whereas on the QNAP, there are ways in which you can configure files, and I believe there is a map view that you can utilize as well. Um, but again, you can go to a file, have a look at the file and get some more information about it. You can find out more about uh, where it was taken and more. And again, I think coordinates will give us an idea about where the picture was taken, as you can see. But it, it doesn't feel quite as nice as that uh, kind of listing of places that was displayed there on the Synology. I do quite like that, uh, that method, but the QNAP just makes things easier to share locally. So if you have a TV, a smart TV, or a DLNA-enabled appliance, unfortunately there isn't one on this network right now, it's much, much easier to share and send and push files on a QNAP. Likewise, the ability to distribute to popular social platforms, download the file locally, something that's already on your NAS, and of course, if, you, if you've noticed that it hasn't recognized the person, you can ask it to recognize someone. So you can manually go in and recognize people. So again, you can tag people, drag a box over, and you can now say that is a person to be recognized and added to that list. And of course, the 360 panoramic mode is for those people that are using 3D appliances, 3D headsets, or so even Google Cardboard. This will let them be able to see their photos in a 3D fashion. And again, something that isn't readily available on that Synology. So again, we can go back to the people here and it has still found all of those people. If we go for suggested, what we can do is if we name someone, so say we go for me there, we had a name and we put Robbie. And now those pictures of me will be Robbie and it will go through and it will now say that those two photos are me. But say we find another picture of me, like that awful picture of me there. From here, we can now select Robbie. We can merge those together and now on those tagged people, wallet, there I am. And from my understand, we're able to search. There's another terrible picture of me there. So we'll go for that, merge you, more people, and we'll go for someone else. Let's go for Chris. Um, Chris, the property guy, we're gonna go for that. And we'll find another picture of Chris probably somewhere in here. Let's have a look. If you're watching this video in the future, Chris, so have a look, let's find one of Chris. Trust me to find someone that's not on here for a little wee while. Let's go for that, we're gonna have to go for someone else, I think. Let's go for Jeff. 
So we've got one of Jeff there. We'll find another of Jeff. There is Jeff, so we'll put in Jeff. And again, we've merged those together. And again, from what I understand, you can use the search functionality to find these people. Now, the extent, let's see if it's this one. So if we go for Jeff, it will let us know there. Can we search for two people? Unfortunately not. And again, this will give us a better ability to be able to search for individual photos of people. And again, remember, if you've enabled the QSync application on your phone or mobile device, you can upload things automatically into PhotoStation where it will sort through those pictures for you. Now, going back to the Synology, let's see if it's initiated the tagging, because I know it takes a little bit of extra time to do the facial recognition and it's still scanning through the photos and again this is another example of the difference between these two brands because the QNAP is doing it as and when which can produce spotty results it don't get me wrong it's a hell of a lot quicker <coughs> but the Synology although it's going to take a fraction longer it will be interesting to see how their tag system compares so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward and right now I can see that it's two minutes past two and I'm going to see how this compares with when this has finished the tagging process. See you then. Okay, so it took a little over 20 minutes, but the Synology managed to go through all of those tags. I should mention that I am going to do a very similar test to this using the PhotoStation application on the Synology now, just for the sake of fairness. But I will add that all purposes and all sources seem to have indicated to me that Synology recommend moments over their own Synology PhotoStation application. So although I will do that comparison later, I do think it is worth highlighting that Synology themselves do say that the Moment Applications is the premier app of the two. Now, this is where I'm going to talk about the comparison between them, because although this is about facial, facial recognition, I will say that although the Synology, as you would expect, is the more polished looking of the two, there just seems to be more features and functionality still available in PhotoStation 5 from QNAP. Case in point, the photos here, if we look at how the, QNAP, uh, the Synology did facial recognition, I would say that it did a much better job. Um, the QNAP did seemingly find uh, more faces um, at the start, but then what I did seem to uh, notice was that the Synology was able to put the groups together a lot more easily. So for example, if we look at a similar, um, a similar picture between them, let's have a look, if we go for a scan there. Earlier on, we saw my friend Chris, who I named on here, there he is there. That was Chris, and this is Chris here, and, they've, and the Synology has managed to pin 13 pictures of him, including the picture in question, which was one of these here. I believe it was this photo here, and there he is. The Synology, although I haven't named it, was able to pin that picture along with 13 other images, whereas the QNAP was only able to find that one image. So if we carry on, we look at more pictures here. We'll try to find someone else so we can recognize off between the two of them. Uh, maybe this terrible picture of me here wearing the silly little hat. Is this based on here with my hat? There it is. And according to this, it's only found one picture of me there. So just one picture, whereas the Synology was able to find that picture and peg it, there I am with my cat, and it managed to pin that picture along with a pile of other pictures of me, one of which I've already seen. So if we go there, we'll go for all of those, and there's that picture earlier that I tagged manually. The Synology was able to identify and put these two terrible pictures of me together. Um, which again, I'm quite impressed by. The Synology does see, and particularly Synology moments, does seem to have a better grasp of facial recognition and that deep learning. Um, now, once again, we will be checking out how that compares on another video with PhotoStation later on. But for now, the facial recognition is definitely better on moments than it is on the QNAP PhotoStation application. However, as mentioned, although the facial recognition is pretty good, which let's face it, is what this video is about, in almost every other regard, it was just a bit dull. So, for example, the subjects thing, I absolutely love. I think that's brilliant that Synology have done this. The ability that I haven't named these pictures sky, dining, food and drink, infant, selfie or cat. 
but the Synology Moment application has recognized what these things are, which is brilliant. Whereas the Photo Station one from QNAP has only recognized faces. Also, the fact that it's able to go into the metadata more readily and identify locations, as mentioned earlier on, which again is great. It's managed to find places where I've taken the pictures and going via the metadata in the background of the picture I've taken, ascertain more information about that picture. If we go there, we can rotate it, we can muck around with it, and that, that's about your lot. You know, but it's still great that it's managed to find them and present it to you in this very nice fashion. However, on the QNAP, and I'm gonna have to make this a little bit bigger to show you, the QNAP just goes the extra mile in terms of what you can do and how much information you can ascertain. For example, let's find a picture of me, or a picture of something at least, anyway, let's go for this incredibly unhelpful picture of beer. Now, not only have we got this picture, and obviously there's no facial recognition per se in this, but firstly, we've got all of these buttons we mentioned earlier, the ability to manually tag people if we want, so we can add that as a face, and it will add it to the facial recognition from earlier on. So we'll add that to that list from earlier, and then we can name that, and that I believe was Nick. So now we've done that manually, something you cannot do on Synology Moment, and of course you can share it socially a lot easier, whereas on Moment all you can do is create a link to a photo. You can't directly send, so if you go for the, sh you can download or share these links in a much more concise just link way, whereas the QNAP lets you use social media platforms and other means of sharing. And talking of distribution, the fact that this lets you distribute the files to a local DLNA uh, device, such as a smart TV or you know image player, is something again that you don't have on moments. Finally, although the places feature was a considerably better on the map here, the map section of places, on moments from Synology, and on in the case of this, what you need to do is go into coordinates and it gives you a Google map link of where the picture was taken. What I would say for QNAP is there's way more information readily available about the camera that took it. You can find out more information about the filtering system that's all built into the metadata and stuff that you're just not getting in moments. Now, I know a number of these things you will get in Synology's photo station application and when I compare photo station uh, on both respective platforms that might make things a lot more even and yes again we are meant to be looking at facial recognition but it's more than that this is about the information you can glean from these photos if you're just looking to browse photos and that's it the moment application is spot on and right now it is the best way to stream and view your, the photos on your NAS. However, if you want more than that, if you want more information, you want to have a lot more analytical information about the, the photos that you have, then the QNAP is definitely going to be better as well as a better means of sharing those pictures and photos. Again, the disadvantages of PhotoStation for me, first and foremost, it's it, the map functionality is nowhere near as good and the facial recognition compared to moments does leave a little bit more to be desired but it still has that facial recognition and it has much better tools to learn more about your photos if the devices you took them with were smart for moments it has a much much better front end but once you get past that front end and that cataloging feature after that, you do feel the limitations of moments, and I hope they find a way to merge Photo Station and Moments in a far better way. Because right now, I just think a lot of the settings of Photo Station need to be in Moments to take advantage of those abilities. And the fact that both Moments and Photo Station, by default, have separate um, fam um, file trees means that you have to fiddle around with a number of different back-end parts in order to have both of these apps pulling from the same albums, which is something that, you know, there's no reason for that. I think that's ludicrous that exists, but still, nevertheless, Moments is still a beautifully well-polished app, and particularly that the subjects feature is something to talk about, because that's really nice. The fact that you can search for things, by the way, those are big things, like, it's not hot dogs, how dare you? Um, 
But this has been Photo Station 5 versus Moments. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I know I've streamed a little bit off topic there about photos and photo recognition. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.